the movie immerses viewers in the familiar setting of an ordinary American household, capturing the essence of a typical morning routine that resonates with many. As the day unfolds, the audience is introduced to Penny and her husband Russell, whose day starts abruptly with the jarring sound of their alarm clock radio. From the moment Penny stirs from her slumber, her weariness is palpable as she musters the strength to face the day ahead, reluctantly bidding farewell to the comfort of her bed. The audience witnesses her weary yet determined demeanor as she embarks on her daily tasks, dutifully preparing breakfast, while juggling the demands of her bustling family. Penny's portrayal as a beleaguered housewife underscores her relentless struggle to maintain a semblance of order amidst the perpetual chaos that characterizes her household. In contrast to Penny, her husband Russell, while well-intentioned, fumbles through his attempts to contribute meaningfully to the household chores. Their dynamic is further complicated by the presence of their four-spirited children. Russell Jr. unleashes a clever trick involving a toy snake that he strategically places on the stove, while Penny is engrossed in frying bacon. The unexpected sight of the faux reptile triggers a terrified scream from Penny, much to the delight of her prankster son. Regrettably, Russell finds himself unable to offer any substantial help in the management of the ensuing chaos. At the same time, Russell voices his annoyance upon finding sand in his shoes, further adding to the discord in the air. Amid the noise, the constant ringing of the phone, the non-stop barking of the family dog, and the broken washing machine only add to the overwhelming confusion within their home. Overwhelmed and longing for even a brief moment of calm, Penny desperately wishes for a short break from the chaos that currently surrounds her life. As the day progresses, Penny seeks solace and tranquility in her garden, dedicated herself to the nurturing of her beloved plants. However, her peaceful refuge is abruptly shattered by the disruptive noise of a neighbor operating a chainsaw to trim tree branches and disrupting Penny's coveted moments of solitude. Striving to maintain her focus on the gardening tasks at hand, she takes solace in the rhythmic motion of digging into the earth. To her joyous surprise, she unearths a wooden box harboring a stunning gold pendant, exquisitely designed in the likeness of a sundial. Without a second thought, she brings the ornate pendant indoors and adorns herself with its radiant beauty. Later in the evening, she embarks on a visit to the grocery store, accompanied by her children. Through it all, she found herself in a sudden collision with another shopper's cart, a simple accident that swiftly shifted the focus of all onlookers to her unraveling situation. Little did she know, the weight of the sundial pendant she still wore hung unnoticed around her neck, its true power concealed by her obliviousness. Unbeknownst known to Penny, the seemingly ordinary piece of jewelry was poised to unveil an extraordinary twist in her otherwise ordinary existence. Upon their arrival at the gentle sanctuary of home, Penny immediately sought refuge in the familiarity of the kitchen to prepare dinner while the children frolicked in the outdoor allure. Though a brief period of respite seemed on the horizon, the tranquility was ephemeral as swiftly as the children re-entered the house and resumed their boisterous antics. The persistent squabbling of the girls harmonized with Gertie's accidental milk spillage, culminating in an organic symphony of chaos that Penny reluctantly undertook the responsibility to resolve. Her mounting exasperation was further compounded by the untimely entrance of her husband Russell, whose presence often proved more of a hindrance than a help, lamenting over a tear in his shirt. Amidst the burgeoning noise levels that encased her, Penny found herself reaching a boiling point. In that moment of exhaustion, she raised her voice, beseeching for a semblance of silence. Unexpectedly, Penny's plea for respite catalyzed a remarkable turn of events. A sudden and intense outburst triggered a phenomenon that froze everyone in their tracks, as though time itself had acquiesced to her outcry. The tableau that unfolded before her unveiled her family members and even their loyal four-legged companion, motionless in their frozen stances, locked in a suspended state. Astonished by the unintended effect of her own outcry, Penny meticulously examined the arrested figures of her loved ones, capturing the remnants of the final expressions they bore before time was brought to a halt. 
Initially bewildered by the inexplicable situation that enveloped her, Penny's sharp intellect soon led her to a deduction regarding the sundial pendant in her possession. It dawned on her that this trinket, found in the recesses of her garden and now adorning her neck, was no mere ornament but a potent artifact. A profound amulet bestowed with the authority to halt the relentless march of time itself. To corroborate her hypothesis, she issued a command for her family to speak, a directive that seamlessly ushered the flow of time back to its natural course. To her profound amazement for her family, not even the blink of an eye had elapsed. Overwhelmed by joy, Penny realized she had inadvertently unlocked a conduit to the peace and tranquility she fervently sought. With the knowledge that the phrases shut up and start talking served as the triggers to activate and deactivate the might of the amulet, Penny comprehended that this magical intervention was contingent upon her direct physical contact with the pendant. Later that evening, Penny finds herself engrossed in a news program that provides detailed coverage of recent peace negotiations between the United States and the Soviet Union. Finding the broadcast irksome, she briefly freezes time, expressing her satisfaction with this newfound control before retiring for the night. The following day, she leverages her newfound ability to enjoy a peaceful breakfast with her children, a stark contrast to their usual chaotic mornings. Adhering to her usual routine, she heads to the grocery store, but this time she employs the power of the amulet to freeze time, allowing her to shop without any disturbances or interruptions. Despite the cashier being frozen mid-action, she ensures to leave the payment in his open mouth. On her way out, she notices an attractive man, frozen in mid-stride. She pauses to admire his physique and good looks before calmly unloading her groceries from the car, with everyone in the parking lot frozen in time. Upon returning to her home and engaging in the task of vacuuming the house, Penny's concentration is broken by the unexpected arrival of two activists advocating against nuclear weapons. Initially, she politely declines their petition, but when one of them persists, she utters the words, Shut up, unintentionally activating the amulet and causing time to freeze. Seizing the opportunity, she transports their motionless bodies to the yard and carefully places them there before resuming time. When they regain their senses, they find themselves disoriented, continuing their speech but from a location that is distinctly different from where they remember standing. The man is left confused and bewildered by the sudden change in surroundings, while his female companion insists on bypassing Penny's house altogether. As the evening draws near, Penny seeks comfort in a soothing bath, However, her tranquility is abruptly shattered by the alarming wail of air raid sirens, followed by her husband Russell's frantic calls from the bedroom. She hastily rushes to the bedroom, fearing the worst. The voice of the radio announcer, fraught with tension, reveals the unthinkable. Nuclear missiles are en route to the United States. The television has ceased broadcasting, and the radio further reports that intercontinental ballistic missiles breached U.S. airspace. Overwhelmed by fear, Penny breaks down as as the impending catastrophe looms over their country. Russell, despite his own fear, tries to console her. In the midst of this chaos, their son Russell Jr. dashes into the bedroom, tears streaming down his face. The sight of his son in such distress is too much for Russell to bear. He gathers his family in his arms, their tears mingling, just as the distant sound of an explosion reaches their ears. In a moment of sheer terror, Penny instinctively screams, SHUT UP! To her astonishment, time freezes while once again, she steps out of her house and walks through the town, now eerily silent and still. The townsfolk are frozen mid-flight, their faces etched with terror. She follows their gaze skyward and is horrified to see a Soviet nuclear missile, nose down, frozen over the city, seemingly seconds away from detonation. The episode concludes with Penny confronted with an impossible dilemma, a situation where there is no victory, only loss. Will she choose to live eternally alone in a silent but safe world? frozen in time? Or will she unfreeze time knowing that it would result in her and the world being obliterated by nuclear war? This is the predicament that Penny finds herself in, a situation that forces her to make a choice between two equally devastating outcomes. The episode ends on this cliffhanger, leaving the audience in suspense about Penny's ultimate decision.